Hi, this is Mike Cohen. I first took my dad to neurofeedback in 1995. He was struggling with severe agitation. We went to top doctors, nothing worked. Then we found neurofeedback and the effect on him was remarkable. Ever since, I've worked with neurofeedback. So when people ask, what is neurofeedback? They typically want to know how you do it, what it helps, and how it's different than other options. With neurofeedback, anyone can improve their brain. We've trained children, teenagers, and adults from age 2 to 92. For children, it's often used for ADHD, emotional and behavioral issues, learning and developmental delays, and struggles in school. For adults, it's commonly used for anxiety, depression, obsessing, and sleep problems. Neurofeedback measures brain activity, like brain waves, and it helps you make more or less of certain brain patterns. By changing brain activity, or by changing how one area of the brain talks to another, you can improve attention, control of your emotions, and behavior. There's research on how it helps migraines, pain, concussions, addiction, and seizures. But what do all these have in common? They're brain issues. With neurofeedback, your brain changes itself. And when it does, typically any of these issues improve. It's not all about problems. Neurofeedback improves performance by changing the timing of the brain. That can help anyone in performing in school, business, or sports. It helps give you an edge. Neurofeedback is different from brain games like Lumosity or tutoring or therapy. Those focus on changing your skills or behavior or how you think. Neurofeedback is focused on changing the brain. There are parts of your brain that help you pay attention, that help you be calm, that help manage your mood and your emotions, or that help you sleep. You don't realize how much your brain affects your mind. With neurofeedback, you get to see how changing your brain can have a huge impact on your life. How do you do neurofeedback? First, we put sensors on your head. Commonly, we measure your EEG brain activity with a special computerized system. The system gives you feedback, such as playing a movie or hearing a beep. For example, when you make a certain amount of beta brain waves, the movie will play perfectly. But as soon as you're less alert and awake, the movie starts to fade out. You rapidly learn how to keep the movie from fading out by changing the brain activity that's being trained. Your brain has a way of figuring out how to get the movie to play. Once you learn new patterns, and that may take practice, your brain tends to remember it. There's a lot of published research that shows that the brain learns from feedback and that measurable changes in brain activity occur after training. So how do you change your brain? It's just learning. Children learn to play a video game, and they never read a manual. Their brain figures it out. How do you balance on a bike and not fall over? Somebody probably showed you, but it's your brain that figured out how to balance. When you train brain activity, your brain figures out how to balance its own activity. So once you train the brain, does it stick? Well, you don't forget how to ride a bike, even if you hadn't ridden in 10 years. It's the same with neurofeedback. Once your brain learns, you don't tend to forget it. There are exceptions, particularly if there's disease like Alzheimer's or neurological issues. But there are still ways to train your brain. The changes you make with neurofeedback can over time have a profound effect on learning, memory, attention, mood, migraines, and far more. If you or someone you know could benefit from improving their brain, we encourage you to learn more. You can visit our website at centerforbrain.com.